Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I just want to give you yet five more books, great Christian books, that I think every Christian should read if they have the opportunity. Now, I've got them written real small print here, so you'll have to forgive me, but I'm going to look at this. The first is A.W. Tozer, Knowledge of the Holy. Those of you that are into separation from the world, holiness, you know A.W. Tozer has incredible books on that subject. Uh, secondly is Charles Spurgeon's Morning and Evening Devotionals. Just as in the Old Testament, the Israelites had a morning and evening sacrifice, he would have morning and evening devotionals, and those are fantastic. They're at the Metropolitan Tabernacle Pulpit in uh, London. Draw thousands of people there. Next is Leonard Ravenhill, Why Revival Tarries. Oh, what a convicting, tremendous book. So many people need to read that. There could be a tremendous, heart-rending revival in the United States of America if people would read that. Next is Hudson Taylor's Spiritual Secret. Hudson Taylor was the founder of the Inland China Missions in China, and the sacrifices, the deprivations he suffered, all for the cause of Jesus Christ and so many millions of oneness believers in China. Hudson Taylor's a spiritual secret. And then a biography of William Carey. He is known as the first modern missionary. His uh, motto was, I can plod. He would learn languages, create alphabets, and then translate the Bible into the language and then teach the natives their own language. They only spoke it. They never had it written. He would go through that process. And so, what an incredible man. I'm going to give you a baker's dozen here. Charles Grandison Finney. Separation from the world. Love not the world. Revival lectures. Charles Finney. Amazing impact on America in the early 19th century. You cannot calculate the impact that he had in preaching and all the speaking in tongues and all of the, the uh, it, was, it was estimated that possibly three million people were converted under his ministry, at least came to repentance. You know, they didn't come to Acts 38 primarily, but amazing things and gripping. And it, and it appears from his conversion experience that maybe he spoke in tongues. What a conversion experience Finney had. We may talk about that sometime. So yet five more books I recommend for Christians to read. God bless you.